Blessed are you. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you. Blessed are those who mourn. For they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. thousand years are like a day to God. Repent. Do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. Surely the lowborn are but a breath, the highborn are but a lie. If weighed on the scale, they are nothing. Together they're only a breath. All the people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord our God endures forever. Listen, my dear friends. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world? To be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him? Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position. Think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wild flower. For the sun rises with scorching heat and withers a plant. In the same way, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body or what you will wear. Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked? Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their wicked ways and live? The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. We should all be thankful for God's tender mercy in the time of his favor. 
As commanded, we all should make sure of our calling and election by repenting from our wicked ways. This commandment has only been enforced to help us realize our dire need of a savior. We all have fallen short, brothers and sisters. Because of our wicked and fallen nature, we must submit to the Lord Jesus Christ for help. Since we are spiritually dead, we cannot rely on our own efforts. He's the only one who can grant us the repentance and righteousness to enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, 